right guys Neville Jr. Rene Team DC Racing and Z Max that's your good position for this for this final test race and pole is Neville Jr. cars are getting revved up and Warren will never work out his start let's have a look the cars are revving I know okay, there you go some wheel spinning off there they were having a bad start again Rainier is having a good start into the first corner oh DC has bumped Rainier off the track but Rainier goes into fourth back in the lead and DC outbreaks himself he's making some mistakes there but looks like it's fixed Neville Jr. in first DC second G-Max in third and Rainier team as fourth position he's gonna have some make some hard places up I love his colors he done to his car Z-Max are oh, pushing hard making some mistakes out of DC racing back to Neville um, they, we have spoken to Neville about today's track day he said he's got his car sorted out today so let's see what happens DC one of the new members who joined us in the week is coming to some, some track days Z-Max 72 in third position uh, it looks like he's got his car sorted out for knee team trying to make up some some bad um, some time with the bad place he had we need a level junior in pole running first putting a quick lap down so far because DC under pressure DC runs wide uh, Z Max goes past him and Z Max is now in second can Z Max chase down level back at the Neville it's looking good for Neville so far DC and Z Max fighting for first season first thing and Z, DC runs off the circuit. Ah, oh, but why they get his car fixed out? Rene is gonna Rene maybe can catch him now. Back to Neville. And he's got that photo on rails. We are missing Michael today. Um would have had nice to have Michael on the track. He's had some places he had to be today, so he couldn't make it. Z Max in second with DC making some mistakes. Rene has caught up now. Back to the leaders, um, DC, uh, Neville Jr. is pushing C Max in second place. The car looks like a cloud is put it out. And Neville is off the circuit, comes back, he's pushing on. Back to the leaders. And that's uh, Neville Jr., C Max, DC is making some, some little mistakes. That's why the bit and Rene also, but Rene is trying to catch a grip. And looks like he's catching him. Um, Z Max has just done a, a, 40, a 46772 push him up short in the front for the moment with Neville doing a 46.86894 he's pushing hard they will drive around the track with his brand so it's, indie, it's an opening race it will be next weekend so a final track day um, Z Max is pushing hard to catch Neville Neville looks like he's making no prisoners today. He had a bad start in our opening practice by Kudut, but looks like he sorted all that problems out on his car. And um, slowly but surely he's getting past them. Back to C-Max. And then DC and Rene has caught up. Rene has caught up to DC. This is going to be the dice of the, uh, of the, of the weekend, I think. As Rene is pushing him, let's have a look what's going to happen here. Renier comes into the corner, oh, oh lovely camera work here, so Renier anchors, DC runs right, and Renier takes third, DC takes the gap back, and Renier is just back into fourth, but it's all over him, so I think our task is going to be here tonight, and Renier is all over, he's on his bumper, pushing DC, as DC runs right a bit, and Renier is there, he's showing him, Back to, back to DC. Oh, close the door on Rene. Rene runs wide a bit, but it's looking good. It's a nice dice here for third position. Down there we go. First and second is pulled apart here. So as we're looking at uh, on, the, on the third and fourth position, as Rene is having a nice dice. He cuts it inside slightly, bumping DC. We'll have a talk to Rene about that. And DC takes the inside to Rene. He's not attacking yet. He's just taking his driving line back to the near. I must say he's cut. Oh, DC makes a mistake, but good fixing it. 
is um, at Rockhead Drive a bit, Renier is now on him and Renier is just using the curve to make him turn as DC is now trying his best to get away from Renier six laps down, DC runs wide a bit but Renier is going to use the slip stream, DC he's there, so he's using the slip stream looking good, down to seven laps DC is under pressure here from Renier as Renier is using his own racing line at the moment he's not pressurizing DC so much DC takes the inside line again Renier running inside takes, the, takes his line and it's looking good uh, I think DC is holding Renier up but DC runs wide and Renier is now taking the gap here and Renier is on his slipstream again breaking up a dead left, um, left hander into a right hand and then another right hand as Renier is going for it ah DC is just keeping it comfortable Renier keeps it cool he's got the inside line DC and outside line and it's looking good this is excellent racing these two guys are giving it a pro for the run here back to the leaders in first place Renier uh, level here D-Max and the two guys are fighting but looks like Renier has taken first position now no DC has got it back Ah, oh, he bumps DC. He did it there. Uh, be careful, yeah. Pushing on. So, after DC takes the drive better than Rene. But Rene is trying to get the slipstream. Some nice polo views here. Yeah. This is the Falcon Polo's final test. And look at them pushing. These guys are going on like they are racing for points here. Yeah. DC runs wide a bit. And comes up to the corner. Looks like Rene is going to take it. He's ready to take it, he's got the inside, he's got it covered. Renee's still in pop, and over the line we go. Renee's there, DC closes the door on him. But does DC have it, it covered? Yes, they're both running a wide bit, but an excellent race for the two guys. I didn't, oh, DC outbreaks himself a bit with Renee trying to cover up, but he takes a tight line, so he's not got that drive out of him. Back to Renee. As he comes up, oh, runs wide a bit, that's going to cost him some time. He's really pushing that polo. These two guys are racing like it's the end of the end of the point. And DC has run off the circle. And that's going to, that lost him his third position. Yeah, by lap nine. And off we go. Um, DC is going to push now hard. Back in the leaders, the ne uh, Neville Jr. To a Z Max in second place, they have pulled a heck of a gap back to the Rene team under pressure by DC this time. Comes on into the corner. Oh, DC makes another mistake, but he's, I think he's just trying to hold. He just needs to take, a, take two steps down and get himself settled again. As Rene is running in third position, DC is in, in fourth. Oh, DC is pushing this hard out of that car. Uh, lap 10 now. We are about to start lap, lap 11. As DC is running a bit all over the circuit, but this is his like car set up. It good, good, does have a good drive. Neville Jr. in his polo. He's doing excellent coming coming into the corner then. Z Max has had some time with Z Max because the guys was in the back. Z Max. Um, we had a great opening test race, finishing two second places, and um, well, he's in second again. Yeah, Neville we had a bad opening uh, opening test race. We had two far first places, and is now running in the front. Yeah, again our top runner. We had some good pace as Michael. We are missing Michael, so we are, hope to see him in the opening race. And some other guys have joined us in the in the league. Who's not joined us this weekend? LG, L, um, GT Legos is also not here. So um, hopefully they will be back on the track. C Max X and down and in second place with a knee now comfortably in third. So, like I said, these two guys were pushing. The DC Racing 7 is now in fourth position. He had um, third position on the grid. Drop one. 
and Rene Thiem was in second position on the grid, has dropped one. Then Z Mac was in fourth and has picked up twice, and Rene and Neville Jr. had pole and still staying in the front. Some excellent race from, Ren from Neville. And he's got his car running, beautiful setup for this track this weekend. Z, uh, Z Max is running excellent onto the braking points. Um, looking good, we are now left 13 and Rene team and DC are fighting it out for fourth, but DC is slightly the back or braking. He's trying to catch Rene. With Rene in third position and Rene is off the pace. Nearly off the pace. Um, DC is just like he's making up some time. Level Junior in um, in first and he's got a uh, um, hell of a gap but he's a he's a second fastest driver he met the fastest driver so far on the track um, and he's very far from Neville I just I'm just thinking Neville is putting um, strong laps down and C Max has made some mistakes on the track but looks like he's got his car so that's where left working down to the top um, the, the third position lovely car from Rene DC is um, using a, a borrowed car um, his car just flew in last night so it will be ready by the weekend um, so the polar needs to be changed and all that but it's looking good he's in fourth position he's just like he is. can handle it um, the track, the uh, new driver who joined us in the week, DC Racing 7, is in the pit. Let's see what the pit guys does. He's in the pit on the last lap. Um, it's a tire, it's a retained Ooh, there's a smoke coming out of the front. Uh, let's jump to Neville. He's on a couple of corners to go. He's on the last turn, coming to take his first win. In, this, in the uh, Falcon Polo this day. So Neville looks good. An excellent one for Neville. Um, then Z Max, guys, we weren't there after the second race. We had a technical problem where everything just went blank. So this is the only race we have. Z Max in second place. Neville Rene team with his new colors will come into third position. Rene crosses the line in third and then DC in fourth position. So guys, um, thanks for watching.